Hi, welcome to my tutorial. Have you always wondered how to draw eyes but you're not sure how to start? If yes, then there's no need to worry. I'm here for you. We will start our journey and let's draw together. We will start with slightly black color on our canvas. To get a shape, draw a light horizontal guideline across. Draw an almond shape with one corner tapering downwards. Draw with the pencil until the shape starts to create the form and the color gets more darker. After you're satisfied with how the eye shape looks like, draw another almond shape of the same size. The space between these eye shapes is equal to the length of one almond shape. The diameter of the circles is equal to the height of the almond shapes. Leave some space between the bottom of the circle and the lower edge of the eye shape. Add the pupils, in this case I will make the pupils smaller. Color them with black color, after you're satisfied with how the eye shape looks like. Now once the eye is fixed we can draw the lashes. Draw eyelashes from the root eyelid. Start by pressing firmly with your pencil then slowly release the pressure as you curve it towards the tip. The lower lashes should be thinner and shorter than the upper eyelash. To create the round catch lights in the eyes, use correction fluid or white paint to make the dot. Once the eyelashes are fixed we can now draw the eyebrows. Drawing eyebrows can be tricky but with practice, you will develop the ability to create very expressive moods on the face with the use of the eyebrows alone. Draw a slightly dark color above the eyes, make a shape how your eyebrows will look like. So to add more volume to your eyebrows, make your brush smaller and increase a bit the opacity. Also don't forget your brush should be more sharpened than how your eye brush was. Once this is fixed, you can start to add small lines. The lines should follow natural curve of the eyebrow, following each line. The more lines you add to your eyebrow the more thicker it will look like and with more darker color the eyebrows will be more on point. Afterwards, we will color now the eyes. In this case I will choose the eyes to be light blue, if you don't like this color, feel free to choose whatever color you desire. I will add this blue color below the eyes, just to make a nice shade and as well above. On the corners of the eyes I will add a light purple shade, blend them a bit so the colors would mix well. It will create a nice shadow. After this I will add some purple texture as well inside the eye. Add the texture in the eyes by your desire. There is no rule where it should go. I will add this purple color again on above and below the eyes just to make more blend to fit the color of the eyes more better. Now we blend. To make your eyes more on point, now I will add two small white sparkles. I will now go and find the desired brush. Don't forget to switch the opacity to 100% and uncheck the pen pressure box. Now I will find a new brush in a shape of a star. This brush I choose to add more details to the eyes. I want my eye to look majestic. I will adjust my star brush in properties. By adjusting the spacing now the brush will create a normal star shape. After this I will go to Shape Dynamics and adjust there some properties as well. I want my star shapes to have small and big shapes of the star once I release and add more pen pressure. I will also adjust the size jitter and the angle jitter. 
Once that is fixed, now I will add my stars into the eyes. I will choose the opacity to be increased to 100%, pen pressure box to be again checked, brush to be set to softer side 100%. Now you wonder where should we add it? Well it doesn't matter where you add it. You can follow my guide where I will add them or you can add the stars how you desire. Make sure to add them where you want your eyes more to be on point. Now we need to color the background of the eyes and that would be our skin color. In this case I will use shade of blue and shade of purple. I will mix these two colors and make a nice skin shade. This cold skin shade usually is used on mythical creature art. Feel free to express yourself and add whatever color you think it will go in a mix. Now we blend. Now I will add my stars. I will choose the opacity to be increased to 100%, pen pressure box to be again checked, brush to be set to softer side 100%. You can follow my guide where I will add them or you can add the stars how you desire. Now I want my eyes to be more deep. I will add a black color into the eyes to make a shade. Follow my guide. It's been an absolute pleasure to present this tutorial to you. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to receiving feedback. If you enjoyed this short tutorial, like and follow me on Instagram for more content like this. See you soon.